Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On March 25, 2024, the Malaysian Ministry of Defense revealed its ambitious plan to prolong the operational lifespan of its 48 main battle tanks, the PT-91M Pendekar. This significant announcement, made by Defense Minister Dadak Seri Mohamed Khaled Nordin, underscores Malaysia's steadfast dedication to bolstering its military capabilities and ensuring national security. The Life Extension Program, LEP, slated for inclusion in either the 12th or 13th Malaysia Plan, RMK-12 or RMK-13, aims to tackle pressing challenges confronting the PT-91M fleet. One of the primary concerns is the discontinuation of spare parts production by the Polish original equipment manufacturer, OEM, Bumer Laberty. This issue has been exacerbated by recent conflicts, such as the war in Ukraine, where the PT-91M tanks were deployed, highlighting the urgent need for technological upgrades and capability enhancements. Procured by the Malaysian Army between 2007 and 2011, the PT-91M Pendekar holds a pivotal position in the nation's defense strategy, serving as a vital offensive asset. Housed within the 11th Royal Armour Regiment at the Syed Sirajuddin camp in Jemas, these tanks play an indispensable role in Malaysia's military deterrence framework. In response to the looming threat of obsolescence and operational hurdles, the Malaysian government has embarked on initiatives to diminish reliance on the OEM. Efforts are underway to cultivate local expertise for parts replacement and maintenance, underscoring a strategic shift towards greater self-sufficiency in managing military assets. This move not only ensures enhanced resilience but also fosters flexibility in defense operations. Presently, a maintenance and spare parts supply contract is in effect, ensuring the operational readiness of the PT-91M fleet until September 2025. Furthermore, a collaborative study is ongoing to pinpoint critical issues concerning transmission, electronic components, and fire control systems, with findings anticipated by March 2024. It is noteworthy that the Malaysian PT-91 has undergone extensive modifications compared to its Polish counterpart, particularly in response to feedback from rigorous testing conducted in Poland. The tank's debut in Malaysia during the Grand Independence Day parade on August 31, 2005, marked a significant milestone in the nation's military modernization journey. The PT-91M boasts several enhancements, including a new propulsion system developed by PZL Walla and Rank, an upgraded cannon from Constructa Defense, and advanced fire control systems from EADS. Additionally, armor reinforcement and the integration of self-defense mechanisms further augment the tank's combat capabilities. Notable construction alterations, such as the installation of a steering wheel in the driver's compartment and the incorporation of modern amenities like air conditioning and pollution detection systems, signify a leap forward in the tank's operational efficiency and crew comfort. The Malaysian Defense Ministry's unwavering commitment to the PT-91M's life extension program epitomizes a proactive defense posture aimed at safeguarding national interests amid evolving security dynamics. As tensions escalate in the region, Malaysia's endeavor to modernize its military capabilities assumes paramount importance, solidifying its role as a stabilizing force in Southeast Asia's geopolitical landscape. That's all for now, see you later.